Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and this is my video about cross stitch and knitting. You can't see it, <laughs> but my desk is covered in things to share with you today. But before we get into that, if this is your first time, welcome. If it's not, welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back to watch my videos. Uh, I have a lot of fun making them, even though sometimes my schedule gets all mixed up. So, uh, I have a fully finished object. I have a few works in progress to share. I have intentions or plans. I have haul and I have a significant knitting update for my work in progress. So let's get started. I hope you're having a beautiful day so far. And if you aren't, and I hope that it gets a lot better. Um, let me go ahead and share my finished object. It's not fully finished. It's just, it's done, okay? Uh, <laughs> fully finishing will come in the future when the Jesse box of doom comes. But this, oh, there's a needle. Okay. This, is my quirky Quaker unicorn all finished this is from darling and whimsy designs uh, you can find her on Etsy and this is part of the mythical creature set which I have linked in my link haven and my whip list for a short amount of time uh, you can find it at the very bottom of the list of whips that I have so just so that you know I will have this written down, but I used two flosses that are not the called for. I don't ever use called for flosses for these. Uh, this is Fiberlicious in the color Whispers. It is a pastel rainbow. It goes blue, green, pink. It's very pretty. So I use that for the border on the outside, for the mane and the tail, the horn, the heart, and these little doohickeys on the side. And then I used Leo and Roxy, My Funny Valentine for the inside. So that is the unicorn's body, these two Quaker motifs, and then the border on the inside. So as, as charted, but with different flosses. This, we figured it out, we figured it out. We figured out what it was. Uh, Heike actually remembered Stone Cold Coffee Crafts. Somehow, <laughs> my friends have a great memory. Um, this is called Helix by Picture This Plus. And this is a 32 count crystal helix, meaning it's opalescent and it is shiny. There we go. You can see it there on the, on the corner here. See how it shines? So pretty. It's an icy gray blue. So it doesn't really look too blue in person, like the opal is more blue than the fabric. But when you put something on it, it does tend to look blue. So I use this piece as well for my um, Woodland Creatures Stitch Along by Four Boys and an NL Girl for Christmas of 2020. Uh, and it's this big piece of fabric and I did not want to waste it. So I am putting little smalls on it and then I'm gonna finish them later on in my journal. So I'm gonna keep using this for little smalls. And we will get into that in a little while because I, I have plans for that piece of fabric and more smalls coming soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those away. Those can get put away away. Now, works in progress. So I have a major project on my hoop, my hoop, my Q snap this year. This is my new year, new start from that me and my friend Heike um, wanted to do together. Now I'm the one doing it right now, <laughs> but this is my, oh, you can see through it, sorry. You know what, I'm just gonna have to apologize for a second. There we go. This is Japanese Zen Moss Garden Chatelaine. And it is on 28 count 
black Zweigart Lugana. Two over, well, sometimes two over two, sometimes one over two. I'm just reading the pattern. And all I really managed to do in the last week and a half that I haven't, you know, checked in with you is that I added the, the brown. You can see it on my needle right there. Um, I added some brown. I have not touched this very much this week. I wasn't in the mood. I don't know why, but I just wasn't in the mood. So uh, it has sat in my living room for a little while, just collecting dust. But I wanted to show you because I got a few things for this project in the mail. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and show them to you as I go. So this is kind of haul too. But just in case any of you are also doing this chatelaine, uh, I wanted to, to make it clear. So I live in Ireland. Um, I have to find European shops to buy from so that it's not too expensive, right? And when I placed this order, um, I needed the treasure braids, petite treasure braids. I got the first half in the mail a few weeks ago and I was able to do these metallics here in the center. I think you might remember if you are sticking with me, but these came in the mail and it's these that I wanna share with you. So this is gold treasure raid this one nope don't fall don't fall this one is pb28 this is a little less blingy than the gold that was called for in the dark queen of the seas stitch along if you remember that one from autumn lane stitchery this one is a little less gaudy <laughs> um let me show you the difference. It's less textured. The one, the one for the Zen Moss Garden is in the back. This is for the Dark Queen. So if you stitched Autumn Lane Stitchery's Dark Queen of the Sea, you might think that they are the same color, but they are not the same thickness. Because I was very confused. This uh, for the Zen Garden it also has a little bit of like a you can see a little bit of of this white kind of coming through, whereas the other one did not have any. So it's a little more subtle, but it's still very blingy. Obviously, the metallic. We also got in the mail finally dark chocolate. This is a beautiful sparkly brown that is going to look fantastic. So that came in the mail as well. And then we got some silk lame. So one of the silk lame is this gorgeous light blue. It kind of looks like an aquamarine or a teal. Maybe even, uh, yeah, an aquamarine. Not quite peridot. That peridot would be a yellowish green. And this has a different texture. This is much softer. Obviously, it has silk in it. And then we got three of the same color. There's a lot of this one. This one is a silk lame, and this is a dark sea lagoon. Look at that. Look at that sparkle. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful. It really is. So we got those colors in, and now I have all of the flosses for this pattern. Finally, it's all there. I'm looking at it through the, the phone that I have to record on. So now I can actually go ahead and fill in most of that, except for the beads. I'm holding off on the beads, um, and I can continue working on this. And like I said, this is my focus piece. Uh, I really want to finish this. I really, really, really want to finish this. And it's beautiful. It's really gorgeous. So we're only, I don't know how far we are, but this is the very center. I'm going to go ahead and put the picture on my face so you can see how zoomed in we are on the actual stitching area. Uh, this is this is just the beginning. There's a lot more to go. 
There's a lot of water around this area. So there's like these ponds and the koi fish in them. It's going to be gorgeous. Just wait. Just wait. You're going to love it. So that is Japanese Zen Moss Garden. Shadowing. Put that over there. All right. So that is whip number one. Whip number two. Hold, please. Right. All you missed was a little bit of dog barking. Um, this is my Coraline bag. Um, be wise, be brave, be tricky. Um, this came from the Black Needle Society, and actually it's still available if you're looking for a big tote bag. It's made of this, like, pleather material, and it's lined with this beautiful, like, silky, I don't know, I don't know my fabrics very well, but it's really well made. And it is over on the Black Needle Society's vault. You can also use my code if you want. I'm not an affiliate, but you can save some money using Rachel15, or was it Rachel... No, sorry, it's RR Craft 5. Excuse me. RR Craft 5. Um, save yourself a little bit of money. And you can get all the stuff in the vault if you want, um, including past patterns and project bags. Um, in this bag is my Pokemon. So if you haven't been here before, you might not know about this, this pattern. This is the Generation 1 Epic... Pokemon Cross Stitch by Lord Libidin, and this is a free pattern. Uh, I have I have some threads hanging, so I'm just fixing those while I talk about it. I am using threads that I found on Amazon because it worked out a little cheaper that way, and um, I'm getting there. Worked on this a little bit and managed to get. Mole Trace's outline and this bit here done. I still have about 120 stitches left to hit my whip go goal. So I have one more day after today to finish that. Unless I want to move over into the next month, that's perfectly fine. And I'll tell you why in a little while. But it is coming along slowly but surely. I do need to work on this in my free time. Um, the needle minder is actually, it used to be a, a pin, like an enamel pin that I found online, and I just turned it into a needle minder myself. But this is a an 18 count Ada uh, that I dyed blue myself, and uh, yeah, using this to stitch. And if you're wondering about all the ribbons and stuff, I learned how to do this tie back method for the extra fabric from Needle Ninja. Needle ninja x stitch and i have her uh tutorial linked if you'd like to check it out but um fantastic way to hold back excess fabric especially if it's big i think i told you that i would do this last time i think so that's that project right there and uh you'll see that again in a few minutes uh i will just set it down because I have my last work in progress to show you. This came out on a whim. This one came out on a whim because I was on Twitch. I go live on Twitch on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, on Tuesdays I do diamond painting, on Thursdays I do cross stitch so that we can just hang out and spend time together, right? Well, when I was on Twitch yesterday, uh, I was talking about my plans and we spun a wheel and this came up when I was spinning the wheel. And so I present you, I want to do less work. So I'm going to show you the cover photo, mini trick or treat by Randall Spangler and Heaven Earth Designs. Um, so it's just basically a haunted house with the little dragonlings. So cute. Lots of brown, but I did about a hundred stitches. Did about a hundred stitches yesterday and I found a mistake that I made early on. So I'm going to have to fix it, but 
I was going to work from the corner upward that way, and now I'm working from about here downward to fix my mistakes. Um, but this is where the cat is. That is where the cat goes. And yes, there are supposed to be two, two of those. It's very confusing. I don't know what it is right now. I, I know it's the cat somehow. <laughs> That's about it. But I picked this up and I put about 100 stitches into it, so I know it doesn't really look like much, but it is another thing to show you. This is on 25 count, or no, this is on 28 count Lugana, that is the Easy Grid. You can buy this on Amazon. I have it linked in my Link Haven, um, and it's pre-gridded, so you don't have to do it yourself. And when you are finished with the piece, you just wash it and all the lines go away. So that is what I'm doing on this one. This is, if I look at the details, 89 colors and uh, 237 wide by 338 high. So it is not small, but it is a mini. So I should be able to do it at some point. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> so that is that work in progress. Now let's talk plans. Let's talk intentions and plans because they are very fun. Um, when I was on Twitch and I, I rolled my, my spun the wheel, um, I spun twice. I spun once for tomorrow's project. Tomorrow is Dark 13, or an extension of Dark 13, which is kind of like just a fun community event where people take out their spooky stitching on the 13th and the 31st. So when I spun the wheel, mini trick or treat came up. So I'm going to work on this tomorrow as well. Maybe not on my Twitch, but I will be working on it in my personal time. So I'll work on this a little bit more. Just, just for fun. Um, I could not resist putting some stitches into it yesterday. So that's why, that's why it's out. <laughs> that's why I'm showing you. Um, and I am excited about it. I, I, I like to get into Halloween stitching every now and again. And when, when I was on Twitch, I also was kind of doing some, you know, doing some research for this video. And I looked up what my WIPGO numbers were. So WIPGO, which I'm just bringing up my WIPGO board, which I will include a picture. So the numbers called were 10 and seven. Now seven is pretty lady. The pretty lady that I've chosen that I've been itching to work on is Miss Cherry Blossom by Mirabilia. She is a, um, she's one of my Stitch Asia projects. She is on a beautiful fabric that I got off Etsy. This is a, a linen. And um, I've got all the details in my whip list. If you would like to look those up, I don't have them in front of me and I can't remember anymore, to be honest. But she is beautiful. She's absolutely stunning. I've just finished the OB and I got up to her shoulder. So I, this, is, this is one of my WIPGO projects. WIPGO is like bingo for your works in progress in case you don't know the acronyms. Um, and if you're a new stitcher, um, you can actually go to Facebook. And if you type in W-I-P-G-O, WIP Go, uh, the group should come up from Jesse Marie Does Stuff. And Jesse Marie chooses two numbers every month or the last week of the month before. And then you go and look at your bingo card because you have to fill it in yourself. And so I put in a pretty lady for number seven. I will have to do 500 stitches on that in the month of April. And number 10 on my board says BAP. And BAP, small ears, 
BAP sm smells. BAP, BAP stands for big ass project. I have quite a few and I would show you, but I'm filming on my phone. Uh, but I filled out the wheel of all of my big projects. And wouldn't you know that when I was on Twitch and we spun the wheel, that Pokemon came up. So Pokemon is another focus piece. So it was my focus piece for March for WIPGO, one of them. And it's also going to be a focus piece for April. So 500 more stitches on this in April. That's why I told you you'd see it again. So I have about 120 stitches to do. And I'm, I'm going to do those on stream tomorrow on Twitch. And then we'll start our countdown for 500 more stitches for April. Uh, totally doable. Very doable. This project is going slow, but it's fine. It's fine. I enjoy stitching. I don't always have to finish things, right? So that is prepared for tomorrow. Uh, that is prepared for tomorrow. And then I have other plans too. So in, in April, very soon, like less than two weeks, I'm going to Germany to visit my friend Heike for a week. And I am so excited. Uh, it does mean that floss tube won't be happening uh, around Easter, but that's okay. Uh, I have been waiting a really long time to start this project. And I, I know that I have time to share this. Oops, I just put my hand in my diamond painting. My, my, whoops. <coughs> My arm went into my diamond painting. I have been waiting a really long time to start this project, and I know that this is the right time. So, I have fully kitted a stitch that I will be doing with Heike, and you are more than welcome to join us as well. Please feel free. We are doing Bendy Stitchy and the Blue Flowers Friendship Sampler. It's gorgeous. It's huge. I, I've been waiting since early 2020. I think it was uh, Nashville of 2020 when this released. And when I saw it, I just, I just knew I wanted to do it and I told my friends about it and they said they wanted to do it too. But Heike and I decided that we were going to stitch one half and then give it to the other person for the other half. I would be just as happy now that the world has completely changed since then. I'd be very happy if I started stitching this with her and she put some stitches into mine and I put some stitches into hers. That's that's at, at least what I would love to do. Um, and the model was stitched on 40 count cedar plank by Lakeside Linens. It is 180 wide by 167 high. And it says good ships and wood ships, ships that sail the sea. The best ships are friendships. May they always be. So... I got all the flosses that were called for. These are specialty flosses, so they are really, they're over dyed cotton, and they are very gorgeous and beautiful. That is not, <laughs> that is not a floss. So we have um, Gentle Arts. This is Summer Shower. Classic Color Works. We have Antique Lace, which, Honestly, that's the last time I buy antique lace. Um, it's just an ivory, a little bit more white than ivory. This one's called Ye Old Gold. And we have Gingerbread. This one is Sunkissed. 
I love this one. It's a brown that has, um, it's very hard to see. It's got light and dark brown. Oh. And it's called Caterpillar. And then we have some Weeks colors. Now, obviously, my feelings on Weeks have changed. So I do not buy Weeks Dye Works anymore, but I will use the ones that are in my stash. This is Glacial Melt. Seafoam. Navy. Taffeta, or taffeta, I think is how Americans say it and Charlotte's Pink. And I am using a piece of fabric called Early America. It is a 40 count from Barbaral Creations. And I'm gonna show you a floss toss. 40 count linen. I've never stitched on 40 count linen before. This is was and is going to be my first. So wish me luck. This will be two, one over two stitching. So one thread over two fabric threads is what that means. These colors do look really super good on this fabric. I'm pretty sure that we ordered the same color. It's been a long time since we talked about it, but this is, it's happening. And I pr I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the only project I bring with me, this one, and then a knitting project. So I'll have just two projects with me, and hopefully that will force me to work, you know, get more work done on it. But yes, I am beyond excited. I'm so excited. I want her to stitch a little bit on my sampler, at least. So that is a new start that is planned for April. And I'm leaving it very open because I don't know how much I'm going to have to show you next week. Also, I really want to get back into this project. This is, this holds my very beautiful Night Garden Retreat stitch, which you can buy. It is available on the Black Needle Society's website. Uh, this is, hold on, I'll get, I'll get the pattern for you. So this is called Savor Life and All Its Magic. And this is by the Black Needle Society by Katie Landis. And this is the fully finished object. It is a bag and it is so pretty. So this came into in a box from them. It was their, you know, like a, not a subscription box, but a specialty one-off box that you can get. I recommend signing up for their newsletter so that you can be notified when those are about to go on sale on the website. Um, and it's not cheap, but the retreat in a box came with everything that we needed to not only stitch it, but to finish it as well. And it came with a bonus pattern that I will talk about in just a minute. So I would like, if I have time, I would like to mark the beginning of spring by stitching a little bit more on this particular piece. God, I love this fabric. This is a 36 count linen and it is called French Lilac by Picture This Plus. This fabric is to die for. If I could just stitch on this for the rest of my life, I'd be happy, except it's really hard to see the stitches on this. So let me just kind of fold it over. There we go. So in the middle, it says save your life and all this magic. I haven't finished the M yet. Oh. There, now you can see the real depth of that. That's accurate. So it's super dark, super, sorry, super dark purple. The needle minder came in the box as well as all the called for flosses. This, this bag, everything. Let's see, you get the finishing instructions and the finishing kit with the trim and, and the pins and everything. 
then I have all of the threads as well, which are a little bit kind of all over the place, but it's okay. I thought I had these on a ring. Oh, I did have them on a ring and I took them off the ring. That's right. And then I braided them. <laughs> I tried. Um, yeah, lots of beautiful colors in there. And they just pop. So the box is no longer available, but the pattern is the bag maybe as well. And so I, what I was thinking about was for spring, we've just done Quirky Quakers. Um, I would really like to do the Moonrise Snail, which it's not gonna focus. But this is called Moonrise Snail. And I'm so excited. I wanna get this little, this little tiny snail on a piece of fabric. I'm gonna to try to find something because I don't want to use the corner of the piece of fabric I'm using now. Um, but I wanna, I wanna stitch this little snail. It's got the moon phases on it. It's so cute. I thought it would be perfect for spring because there's lots of snails outside right now. So I'll pop those back in the bag. So that is an intended, not restart, but possible new start would like to do another small for April so that might be one and that is it for plans so let's talk haul so not only did I get the let me just I, I have I have a, have a notepad ha hmm okay when I purchased my flosses for the Zen Moss Garden Chatelaine, I put something else in my cart. This is Nora Corbett's Pisces. I don't even know if you can see how beautiful she is. She is so pretty. I am a Pisces, in case you didn't know. Um, and she's just stunning. Uh, not as big as I thought. Um, this is stitched on area 80 by 131. So actually not so big. 131 by 80. Uh, I went ahead and got this and then it took a little while for me to get this pattern in the mail. But I learned this morning that Fire Poppies is going out of business, which is pretty sad. But from what I hear, it was time. It was just time. Retirement time happens to everyone. Um, I just wish that I had been able to make a better, bigger order before finding out that they were, they were shutting down. So when I found out, I went straight over there and I looked up all of the Mill Hill beads that I have for every pattern that needs beads, and I only found one for this one. So I got a package of the 00123, which is like a creamy color. It's very pretty. So I've got that on the way, and I managed to snag a piece of Jody's fabric. So Jody, if you don't know, is from the Steel City Stitchers here on Floss Tube, and um, I got a 28 count linen that's coffee tea dyed with blood spatter. And one thing that I kept hearing over and over and over is that Jody's blood spatter fabric is the best, like the best. And so I got myself a fat quarter. Was it a fat quarter? Fat, no, fat half. I got a fat half, <laughs> so half a yard. Um, I'm excited about that and yeah, I wanted to share that with you. Um, maybe if you would like to see if there's anything left that strikes your fancy by the time you see this video, I believe it's firepoppies.com or if you just go to Google fire poppies, like multiple poppies, the flower and yes, 
more. So, okay. Um, this morning, I don't know why my skin is going all red, <sighs> hyperpigmentation, whatever. Um, this morning I was on my zoom call because I do Patreon. If you didn't know, I have a Patreon. It's a great place to, um, support your favorite creators, whether that's YouTube creators or TikTok creators or whoever. But on there, I have different tiers of support. And the last tier, the highest tier is the Zoomy tier where we do Zoomies, um, AKA Zoom meetings. I do too. So I have one later on this evening as well. And uh, we just sit and craft and talk about all kinds of stuff and it's really chill and fun and I do invite you to come and uh, participate and uh, so if you haven't signed up already you can feel free there's a link down in the description but I do recommend that you wait until the first so you don't get charged twice um, but while I was in the zoom meeting that's where I found out about fire poppies um, I also found out that Bendy Stitchies Flamingo Duo is available as a PDF on evertote.ca. Huh. <laughs> okay, so let's back up a little bit. I am a Patreon supporter of Michelle. I like to watch her vlogs. I like to um, support her and get the gift card charts and everything else that she puts up there for her patrons. I also saw when she posted a sneak peek of that punk Flamingo. I myself am not punk. I'd say I'm more grunge, I guess, uh, minus the makeup right now. Uh, but regardless, there is a flamingo in a punk style, which I just so appreciate. Um, and I had, I had to have it. I didn't think that it was available as a PDF at first when I found out about the release. Maybe I should have gone and checked for myself, but I didn't trust myself because ever tote. <laughs> you know, off the grid needle arts here on Flosstube? Well, that's Caroline. Caroline has her own business as ever tote and she sells the Leo and Roxy flosses like this one that I showed you earlier. Well, she makes her own project bags and everything else. And it was like a set you bought the beautiful flamingo project bag you get the pdf chart and the flosses as a set but now i was able to just buy the pdf and i am so happy because it is so fun i love it so it might be another new start this month who knows i might go crazy but um i am super happy that that pattern is available i'm so happy that it is in pdf form I love PDFs uh, and speaking of PDFs I have one more other thing to share with you grandma be wilden all right let me try let me try to bring this up so that you can so that you can see um, grandma be wilden it sounds funny but purchases I'm going to Etsy we're going we're going on a on a trip the, what I purchased from Grandma B. Wilden on Etsy is the Goth Tempsal or Goth Stitch Along or there, there's like a lot of a lot of ways that you could talk about it. But basically the Goth Curio Cabinet temperature stitch along. You following me? I'm going to put a picture. So y'all know, if you watch me, you probably watch Michelle Bendy. Michelle Bendy is doing the temperature bookshelf. I'm going to do the temperature curio cabinet <laughs> because I, I really like this aesthetic. Um, it has let me just bring it up. Where, where's the picture? Let me, let me see the picture again. Oh, there's two cats. There's plants. There's an onk. There's like little potions. 
I just love this so much. So what you're seeing is actually just like the computer rendering. It's not the finished one. Y'all, <laughs> I love it so much. So uh, obviously you've got like all these shelves and the books stacked on top of each other and sideways and everything else. And it is so cool. Um, I am not going to be starting this in 2022 that I know of. I could start it like in the summer or something maybe. But um, what I'm trying to give myself time for is to get the outline done. That outline is a lot. And before I get started on this one, I want to start, I want to finish another Sal and I want to finish my Cryptids stitch along. So Cryptids by the Witchy Stitcher. But is that not the cutest? So Grandma B. Wilden, W-I-L-D-I-N. My Southern just came out. Grandma B. Wilden on Etsy. Uh, goth stitch along temperature cabinet 2022 is what the start is called and that is it for my purchases that I remember so we talked about Whipco Dark 13 the Pisces my purchases today let's move in to knitting and knitting haul I'm gonna show the haul first because it won't take but two seconds I got a package from my favorite. Um, this is from Little Bish's Stitches in Germany. I purchased a fairy tale, no. What was it called? See, when I when I purchased the thing, by the time the time between when I purchase something and when I receive it, typically I forget what I purchased. But this is like a folklore fairy tale mini set open it together beautiful wrapping paper <gasps> March yarn club folklore and fairies there we go fairies is on the brain right now look at these minis I purchased the DK set look at them they are going to be so beautiful. And this skein set is called Yennefer. How about that? Uh, nine 20 gram mini skein set, 180 grams altogether. 80% superwash merino, 20% cashmere, 10% nylon. It is really soft. They recommend a needle size of 3.0 or 3 to 4.5. I believe what I'm going to do with these, I think I'm going to make some uh, leg warmers. I've been talking about it for a long time. Um, I find that my ankles get cold in the winter. So I might make uh, a set of leg warmers using Magic Loop or something. That is cool. There's other stuff in the box. That's just spacing, I think, I think. So what else is in here? Oh my gosh, there's, I'm gonna put it down because this is so exciting. Are you sure this is nothing? <gasps> that was just spacing, how pretty is that? So it's just like a wrapped up piece of, I'm just making sure because like, that's so much attention. Oh, that the aesthetic is amazing. We have this beautiful postcard. This is called Lily, Flying Colors, Sonia Schult. Sonia Schult is very, very talented. Gorgeous postcard. It is printed to be facing this way, but it just seems weird. <laughs> beautiful postcard. We have the colors of the, the inspiration photos for this. Uh, Yennefer, the blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and then I, and I have a newt. 
So if you watched The Witcher, you know Yennefer. Very cool. It's cool to get like a little, this, this I can use in my cross stitch journal when I get to it, when it comes. These are seeds. And I can only tell that because it's got a hand, a little seeds, and it says April, May. Uh, you sow them, and July, October, they come out of the soil and they flower. So we've got some seeds. Very cool. We've got this little pouch. What's in here? These must be... Yes, stitch markers. Beautiful little crystal with a green little ball on it. And this one is a little butterfly. You can't really see very well, but there's a butterfly and then the little metallic ball as well. Those are so pretty. And also 85% dark chocolate. Oh, I know this is not everybody's cup of tea. Some people would probably be really upset. I love the darkest dark chocolate. So, yes. And it's from Lidl, so why not? Thank you so much. Oh, it was so pretty. Let me keep those stitch markers out because otherwise they will get lost. Making sure there is nothing in there still. Definitely nothing in there. I'm not throwing away something important. Nope, it was just to make it look pretty. Attention to detail. I love it so much. Oh, those colors are so pretty. So pretty. I love them all. Even the grays, even the brown. So pretty. I'm very happy with that. I highly recommend Little Vicious Stitches, based in Germany. All right, let's look at my knitting whip. This is Stephen West's Slip Stravaganza. I always pause because I keep wanting to say shallography. It's Slip Stravaganza, AKA <laughs> the project with about a million dog hairs in it. And I'm sure there's still Gigi hair in there too. Let me bring it to the center. Last time that you saw this, I only had the triangles. I had just finished the gray triangles. So I kept my needle minder where it was so that you could see that we had these on the needles. And now I have finished three chevron rows plus the black rows in between. So the black rows here are finished as well. So pretty. Oh my gosh. I hope this is my screen grab. If I stay here long enough, do you think it'll, do you think it'll do it? <laughs> All right. Um, so we've got, I'll take you through again from the beginning. This is the honeycomb. And then there are like holes here. We've got this beautiful texture there. And we've got the diamonds section, which has that black border in between. Then we have the checks, AKA the wheelies. And then we have the triangles and the chevrons. Now, you see how there's like purple, pink, purple? I messed up. That's not supposed to be purple. I messed up once before I had pink here. Well, I messed up again and I did it in purple and I wasn't about to unstitch it all, unknit it all, tink it. So it was supposed to go purple, pink, gray, purple, pink, gray. I'm doing purple, pink, purple, gray, pink, gray. And then I'm gonna finish. So we're halfway through the last section and then after the chevrons are done, then I do the I-Core bind off and I'm done. And that'll be in black, of course. Yes. 
so happy. This is a labor of love. I'll give you some more details, okay? Because I, I feel like I'm rushing through it because I just want it to be done so that I could really show it to you. This knit currently has 900, hold on, let me, let me get the exact number. What row am I on? I am on row 27. So I've just finished row 26. Of the last section you following me uh, when I come on open it currently has 927 stitches on the needles so this circular I had to add another um, I had to add an extender and another cable just to fit all of these stitches on. Now I know that it's a little bigger than it needs to be, but holy cow, this is a very big, a very big shawl. So, so you can see so far, that is what it is looking like. And it's gonna be, this is upside down. So imagine it the other way. I don't, don't trust myself. Hold. All right, I put a needle stop, like a needle stopper thingy on. So this is the way it will look. Kinda, when it's blocked. Isn't that gorgeous? <gasps> it's so extra. I love it. And you probably don't know this about me unless you meet me in real life. I wear mostly black things because I like accessories and I like wearing things that are super colorful. But this is just fabulous. I'm so excited for this. You have no idea. <laughs> I am so close. My plan is to finish it before I go to Heika's because then I could actually wear it. Fingers crossed. We'll see. We'll see what happens. And then I have, I have all the, all of the want to try socks because Jesse made socks. Jesse is Miss Lee Pages and uh, Jesse just decided that she was going to try to knit a sock and she did it. And I am so shocked. <laughs> Because my sock, the one time that I tried to knit a sock, it was like as big as a sleeve. So yeah, I think I might do leg warmers first. And then do socks. Because they are practical and they will be pretty. So if you have any suggestions for leg warmer um, patterns that you that you love or that you've done, or if you've never done leg warmers, you don't have to go searching for me. I will go searching. But if you have a suggestion, please leave it down below. Thank you for spending time with me. That is all I have for you today. Um, I can leave you with a poem like I try to in every episode because I like it. I like reading to you. And um, we've moved on to the section called blood. This is, oh, sorry. This is um, A Lick and a Promise by Imelda May. All right, you ready? <clears throat> Ooh, this is big. You ready for a long one? This is called Liberty Bell. But it's bell, like B-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Okay. <sighs> She's like no one you've met before. A rare little flower, a precious stone, unpolished, upturned, gritty, and growing up. She's resilient in the shade of adversity, rebellious in the face of a threat, amiable, changeable. You'll like her till she knocks your block off if you step on her, once cobbled toes that stole 
that they sold like her rights from under her stout dipped nose. Her sons fought and died, gave their lives as her daughters heavily bled in back streets from dim lit desperate deeds. Drugs blackened her teeth, but her spirit, her mind is blindingly bright and a beautiful sight to behold. Her heart has been broken, bruised, dropped, used up. She suffered taunts, been ridiculed and labeled by fools. So when you pick her up, don't patronize her. Talk to her, look her straight in the eye and see her glory blind you sideways, frontways, every bleeding way. She's a handsome one. Don't drench her in praise that makes her squirm behind her, beyond her pale confine. Let her rise with a pride that can only be earned from the life she has given to all who have lived within her. She's in my blood. She's in my core. She is me and I am her. She's free. She's a fine thing, but not your thing nor my thing. Not a nun nor a mole. Between you, me, and the wall, that lady taking liberties. She's the belle of the ball. That was a good one. I like that. So... Thank you all so much for staying with me and sharing in all the fun goody things that there were to share with you today. I do appreciate it. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you don't mind, give me a thumbs up on your way out. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. A good rest of your week. And I will see you very soon with my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.